What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well. If you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, first off, I just want to say I hope everybody had a uh, a very good Christmas. Uh, whether or not you support, I hope you had a great weekend. If you don't uh, celebrate Christmas, um, you know myself, it, it was just fun uh, getting to spend a lot of time with family, a lot of activities, very busy weekend, but was able to have a good time um, and do things like that. But you know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Baltimore Ravens. Let's talk about Ravens news. This is something that I mentioned. A few weeks ago, um, and I, I think I mentioned it last week. I probably mentioned it on live streams before. Lamar Jackson's injury. He had a PCL sprain um, in in his leg, and right when it came out, I was like, "Yeah, this is two three weeks. He'll be good." And I said, "Okay, that's what we heard last year when Lamar Jackson had his uh, ankle injury. It was like." It was like day to day almost, week to week. It was like, yeah, hey, yeah, Lamar Jackson, yeah, when we get him back, we're going to be all set. And it was like after like six, seven, five or six weeks, it was like, okay, yeah, Lamar Jackson's out for the year. But they they make it seem like, oh, no, he's so close to returning, when in reality he isn't. And the way that Lamar Jackson's injury has, has kind of gone, I feel like, in you know hearing about it from John Harbaugh in the media is like, they don't know. They have no idea. And then we always get these reports. Oh, Lamar Jackson. Looking like he's going to be able to suit up against the Falcons. And then John Harbaugh on Monday in his press conference is like, yeah, um, don't know if we're going to be able to see Lamar this week. And then they say, do you think he's going to return? Are we going to see him at any point this season? He goes, I think so. Come on, Um, you know, that start, it's getting much more concerning because, you know, we were fine with the three games, right? Okay, as long as you win two of those three games, you are in a decent position to make a playoff run when Lamar Jackson returns. Is it a great playoff position? No, because you have, you know, poor coaching in my opinion, but you'll have a superstar quarterback in the playoffs, and a superstar quarterback in the playoffs can do anything. Anything. But we may not have our guy. And I and I want to be clear that there's a chance that Lamar Jackson returns this week and, and returns to practice. You know, just John Harbaugh's comments made it seem like, okay, we don't really know if Lamar Jackson's uh it's kind of up in the air for the rest of the season. That's terrible. Because the Ravens already had a low chance of winning the Super Bowl. But with Tyler Huntley, it's basically zero. Um, There's basically no chance that the Ravens are able to win the Super Bowl with how poor their pass game is um, without Lamar Jackson. And even with Lamar, it would be a tough Super Bowl. But it's almost like in a situation where we were in last year where it's like, do you really want to win games if Lamar Jackson isn't going to be able to return? Like, Like, obviously, you want the Ravens to win out. Actually, you may not want the Ravens to win out. You may want the Ravens to play the Jaguar in the first round of the playoffs. We've talked about that. Play the, you know, get the number one wild card seed. But at least say Ravens have to win one of the next two games. Um, you know, obviously you hope they win two. You hope they beat the Bengals. You hope they beat the Steelers in prime time. That got flexed, which is I'm very excited about that getting flexed. But Lamar Jackson's injury is concerning for a lot of reasons, in my opinion. And I think it goes farther than just this year. Just this week, just today at practice, if Lamar Jackson misses, let's say this week, that's four weeks in a row without your quarterback. He gets one game, a game that is potentially for the division to get his legs back under him, and then it's the playoffs. That's very tough, okay? Just in, that's in the immediate, I believe. Okay, he gets barely any time. It takes guys to, you know, get their legs back underneath them when they come back from injury, even when it is just a three, four, five-week injury. It takes a little bit of time. Lamar won't have that. Then you have to remember this is a contract year for Lamar Jackson. A contract year. And when you're not playing, it's tough. 
and you have to watch. And Lamar Jackson is watching this Ravens offense and going, hmm, this isn't very good. <laughs> These plays are not being executed. These wide receivers aren't very good. And he gets a different perspective on how this, you know, Ravens offense is constructed and how it's called. And he gets to see a player like Tyler Huntley perform in it, whether it's good or bad. And he's watching that and he's thinking, okay, do I want to be here? Is this the system? Is this the group of guys that I want to be around for the rest of my career? And I got to be honest, if I'm sitting there and I'm watching the Ravens offense, I'm being, I'm saying I need to get the heck out of Dodge. Like, get me out of here. He doesn't have an agent, but if I hadn't, you know, if he had an agent, he would say, hey, agent, give me somewhere else. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be with Greg Roman. The agent would do that. But instead, it's going to be him, and he's going to have to decide, hey, do I want to stay with the Baltimore Ravens? Now, I'm not expecting a trade or anything like that, but if Lamar Jackson gets franchise tagged, he could get franchise tagged this year, and then he could get franchise tagged next year. That could be the end. And we've talked about this before. This isn't a tryout for the Baltimore Ravens, uh, you know, saying, hey, is Lamar Jackson going to be our guy? That's not how this is going. This season is Lamar Jackson saying, okay, are the Baltimore Ravens a good enough team for me? For me to take a lower salary, for me to take any salary, whatever it is. Lamar Jackson is trying to figure out if he is willing to take a cheaper deal or, or even just willing to stay. And the Ravens are not making a compelling argument. I think Lamar Jackson is making a good argument for the Ravens saying like, hey, you need me because they do. They look so bad without him. The offense is unbearable to watch without him. So the Ravens, I think, are realizing, yeah, we need Lamar. But then Lamar's realizing, do I need the Ravens? Because when you're a player at that caliber, an MVP, a superstar, one of the best players, I'll say it, ever at doing what you do, and you see how bad the team that is around you performs without you, you may be able to say, hey, there's some other teams that are playing pretty well with bad quarterback play. Maybe I go over there, whether it's Detroit, whether it's the New York Giants. And, and I think Daniel Jones has been decent this year. I don't want to discredit him, but he's on an expiring contract as well. So he may leave. Um, the Giants, the, the New York Jets. There's football teams out there. The Seattle Seahawks. Again, Geno Smith, very good player, but they could use Lamar. And they have the draft capital to do it. And he could say, like, hey, I want to go over here. They don't even need insane quarterback play to be good. And I can bring insane quarterback play. So, like, for me, this, this injury of Lamar Jackson, I'm concerned. And that's what this video is, is about, is me just kind of expressing my concerns that we really don't have that much of a timeline because all the reports are like, oh, yeah, he should be good. And they always say that at the beginning of the week, and then we don't see him, then we don't see him, then we don't see him, then we don't see him. It kind of reminds me of David Ojabo. You know, oh, yeah, Ojabo. Maybe we'll see him this week. Then we don't. And then on Monday they say, well, this will be Ojabo's week. And it took like four weeks of that. The Ravens don't have four weeks to say, hey, Lamar Jackson should be our starting quarterback this weekend. They have five days because the Ravens need to beat the Steelers and they need to beat the Bengals if they want to win this division. Unless they want to bank on the Buffalo Bills beating the Bengals, which, you know, could very well happen. But they got to beat the Bengals. And you need Lamar Jackson. Tyler Huntley, I don't think, has a shot to beat the Bengals. I think the Bengals are a top five team in the NFL. Do I think the Ravens are top five? No. <laughs> so you're going to need the help that you can get. And I think the Ravens can beat the Bengals with Lamar. They already have. But this, this Lamar Jackson injury is very concerning. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts on that press conference. It was weird. Like, I don't I don't have, like, a lot to say, like, nitpicky about every single little thing John Harbaugh said. But the only thing I got was, like, this is just weird. Like, it's vague. It's not saying very much. It's worrisome. I, I don't know. It, it was very concerning to me. And, you know, I just wanted to make this video and just kind of express that so that you guys – Trying to see if other people are on the same page as me. Or if you guys think, hey, 
McConaughey's being crazy again. Conspiracy theory McConaughey is running wild. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ramon's content. And I'll see all of you again next time.